All right, let's uh, let's move on. Um, our reoccurring segment of the show for the past few shows. Um, you did not read Percy Jackson. No, so but you I watched did. Invincible. But I finished Invincible. Yes, I did. Congratulations. What did you think of okay. the last two episodes? I don't know why you said last two. I feel like it was only the last one. Like, yeah, I don't actually remember what happened in the second to last one. The second to last um, one? Okay, so spoiler alerts. I mean, it's going to have in the timestamp as well, but be talking about the show now. Uh, yeah, I thought the last two, I think well, like one was a continuation of the other, which is why I said last two. Yes, I mean, yeah, kind of. Like okay. the second to last one was when basically what had happened to Mark? Mark was like sucking, sulking all around. And then basically near the end of the second to last episode, he saw his dad fighting the Godzilla monster, basically. Mm -hmm. And then he like helped him. But then at the end, he saw his dad kill the The immortal immortal again. Mm -hmm. I guess immortal isn't immortal. Died twice now. Yeah. (laughs) Resurrected twice as well. He's less immortal than most people. (laughs) So... That would, I mean, I get what you mean, as in it was pro it was like a continuation to the last one as well. Um, but you're kind of right with how everything is so irrelevant in every other episode. <laughs> but I mean, it's like the main stories in each one are irrelevant, but they all kind of build uh like little points in each of the later ones. I mean, not really with the 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 outlet uh Titan guy. The rock dude, like that one, it was completely inconsequential. Like, oh, the the demon? No, the the rock dude, the guy who can become a rock. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh, <laughs> completely forgot about that. Yeah, like, like it literally syndicate. does nothing. Like after that, he doesn't actually do anything to anything. I think no, I think that's for the next season. Oh, that's what okay. that was for. Yeah. Oh, fu- it's gonna be another season. <laughs> I don't see how this can be another season. Like, I, I mean, maybe I can see. Uh, eh. Yeah. Well, I mean, you this have to season, find out what Omni Man's gonna do when he comes back, right? Right. So that's kind of that's what I was gonna say with the last episode. Like, I'd already suspected that um, because they revealed kind of like why he did that shit in the last Mm -hmm. episode right because he's evil (laughs) yeah i mean it was already kind of hinted i think from like the second episode i mean well you are there wasn't a lot of options right Mm -hmm. for why he would do that kind of stuff but i feel like it was pretty hinted already from the second episode when he started killing like he literally massacred the the alien race planet yeah and just completely destroyed everything. So I kind of felt I had that like feeling going in um leading up to that last episode. He also literally said Earth is not yours to conquer uh in that episode. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Which if is, you uh, if you know the the like that he's evil, it makes it sound more sinister, but it also, like, by itself, that doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's why they had it in, right? It's like a cheeky... Yeah, 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 yeah. that makes <laughs> sense. Well, yeah, I think overall, um, like, a lot of the stuff, right, just didn't matter. Like, Adam Eve had her safari expedition for, like, three <laughs> episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Just off in the safari, <laughs> helping totally people. Inconsequential. Completely inconsequential. Like I said, yeah. the rock dude, the two blue guys. Like I don't know. I started liking them. Oh, dude, the yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just started. Really, no, the Adam Eve thing when she started putting out the forest fire. I was like, no, no, wait, <laughs> that is supposed to happen. <laughs> That's how they like replenish their nutrients or whatever. <laughs> Maybe it was out of control, uncontained, you know, that's why. Yeah, who It was knows. burning too much. But yeah, I I like... Also, the fucking robot, like, what the fuck even? I feel like that is... <laughs> that, was, that was so funny. <laughs> so weird. 
He did all of that shit just to just because he was horny and he wanted to Dude, be that a was, fucking monster girl. That's kind of fucked up, though. I know, like, like I mean, that's kind of a little bit out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's like 14 or whatever. Well, she's mm-hmm. not. She well, the body of a 14 year old. Yes, though. yes, <laughs> exactly. That's what makes it so. Um... I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the blue guys a lot, actually. Like, after, mm-hmm. <laughs> Even though they're Clones. supposed to be villains. Yeah. They're, like, the more likable. Like, Adam Eve is likable. I don't know, Amber... She's not unlikable or dislikable. Which one is Amber? Is that the, She's the love interest? Love interest, the black love interest. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, like... Honestly, she was, I feel like she is, I don't know, I don't have any real opinions on her. Like Literally, like none of the characters matter, <laughs> other than Invincible and his dad. Yeah. Um, and then the, the FBI guy, or whatever he is, the, the old guy with um, the... I already forgot his name. Like Celis Cecil 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 yeah <laughs> Celsius <laughs> yeah Cecil. Um, and he wasn't that bad of a character. Yeah, he did a lot. Just running around doing shit. Yeah, he like teleported and stuff. Yeah. Was that his like superpower, or is it just with his bracelet that they? Like, yeah, it was with his out? bracelet. He's just a regular human. So they figured out teleportation technology. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, do you not see the... Like the light shit as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. It was like a... <laughs> they put light blocking in the water. <laughs> in water? Yeah, you don't remember it? So, like, the reason he couldn't see anything in the room? Yeah, but that wasn't they... in water, was it? They put it in the water supply. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah seems like instead of turning people gay it's uh it turns them blind it's turning them blind <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one's better yeah um yeah I mean also I, I feel like maybe this is saving for other seasons like the Martian part as well like that that they said that thing would like kill Earth as well, and one one the astronaut dude is on Earth now, the one who's like turned from the mm, alien right. thing. Yes, but then That's nothing definitely for the next season. Definitely yeah, for the next. Season. Literally nothing happened from it. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like the next season is going to be exactly like the first season, where each episode is just a continuation of the little seeds they planted. You know, like the yeah. the rock man and the. The Awars guy. Yeah. And at the very end, Omni Man is gonna come back. <laughs> the last the last scene is just like I'm back or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh the Urath guy also? Like, I thought that was funny. Who the the, the guy the inspector that oh, came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the the last scene is literally um Invincible is like well, maybe I'll finish high school. And then the dude's like, all right, what's high school? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how to feel about the final fight. Like, as in Omni-Man just leaving. Uh, yeah. I don't the, know. The, the whole fight, though, was like crazy. Yeah. Dude, like, he... It made sense. Like, the you know, the thing with the, crazy. The, like, the subway, you know? That one's... That's so that fucked. Was fucked up, bro. <laughs> Imagine doing that to your kid. I mean, he's not human, so it really showed he didn't have humanity. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, like he was fucking him up, and then one baseball memory, and he's gone. <laughs> he, he's just out of there after baseball. Yeah, he, t- he said his wife is like a pet. Like, can you uh, yeah. imagine how fucked up it is? <laughs> I know, <laughs> like, but he's not a human, right? So, like, it's like, you know. So they just, like, fuck their pets in wherever he's from, Omni World. Yeah. Viltrum. Viltrum. Exactly. So he's, like, this fucked, right? But then one baseball memory just 
sends him out of the solar system. <laughs> yeah, Literally up, ejects him. Just one baseball memory. One baseball memory, and then him saying, and then Mark saying, "Dad," and then just boom, I'm out of here. Literally, so you really didn't like it, huh? The uh, Invincible. Huh? No, I'm like, not saying that. I'm just saying that particular part. I didn't. I don't know how to really feel about it. There were a lot of stuff that I act like overall the show. I think I like. Um, one thing I really like is just how they did the title card every time. Oh yeah, whenever they said invincible. I know. I, 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 I like that. Blood. Yeah, that and they good, got yeah. more and more blood as well. Uh-huh. I actually really like like it's just a small thing, but I I enjoyed that. It's just like. You've got to be, and then just the invincible. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hi, I'm, and then the title card is just, I like that part. Um, yeah, like overall, it was entertaining enough um, where I wanted to keep watching, at least to. F- well, part of the reason I wanted to keep watching is because you said only the last two <laughs> were like actually <laughs> consequential, so I was like trying to go until there. Um, but I think it was good enough. Like, it was a good show. And... Did you like the boys more? Hmm. Maybe. I feel like they're around the same level. Like, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't... I probably like the boy season one more, maybe. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, season one, like season two, was a bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Season two wasn't as good. Um, like season one was just more. I like, and then Invincible. It slotted in there somewhere. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think for sure the last episode was, like, the best episode where he, like, literally just was killing humans all over the place. <laughs> and that <laughs> subway scene. And then the one, that with, was fucked up, bro. the one with the jet as well. <laughs> like, Invincible saved the dude who ejected. Mm-hmm. And then he just and then he, fucked like, him his brain like, right dude. afterwards. It was so fucked. It's bad. Horrible. Man. Invincible saved the other jet person, though. Like, the... Omni-Man was going for her or whoever was in the second jet, and then Invincible, like, intervened, and then he got fucked into the city. Mm. So I guess mm-hmm. he actually killed all the city people just to save the jet lady. So <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wasn't worth it. It's like it. The, the puzzle, you know, where he, he like, the train is coming and you have to like switch mm. you kill the president or 10 kids yeah yeah you kill the president or 10 kids um president i don't know bro that's a tough question you, you could call the train operator and say yo stop the train <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that works um also adam eve shouldn't she be like the most powerful fucking superhero because she can literally rearrange atoms can't she just like rearrange omni man omni man (laughs) that's what i'm saying like she should be the most powerful superhero Mm, like with what she could do she can literally make doors and shit like why don't she just i actually did not think about that at all she can literally rearrange omni man (laughs) how can she fly like does she just rearrange air molecules to like lift her I don't up know, bro, i don't get probably. how that contributes to flying like she literally is just overpowered like besides she doesn't have god mode but she has like she can make shields she can fly she can literally make stuff like the fuck she's just overpowered like she should theoretically be able to make another person as well like a copy mm-hmm. that isn't sentient but like so she's just a superset of uh the duplicate. Yeah. Why Rex cheat on her then? Dude, no, though. <laughs> she could have just made it. <laughs> when, when all the duplicates walked out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously thought the robot 
letting the two blue guys out, that would like lead to a more sinister plot point, and it was just him trying to be a teenager. Dude, a I mean, that was teenager. completely <laughs> unexpected, though. I don't know if you expected that, but that came way out of left field. Yeah, I was like, what? I mean, even though it came out of left field, is the payoff really worth it? Just him being a horny ass <laughs> fucking teen? Like, come on. Yeah, I don't know, man. And he said he was 36, too, right? What? It's, like, it's fucked. When did he yeah. say that? When he was like, yeah, like a little like pile of goop or whatever he is. Oh, he was like, I'm a 36 year old genius. Or something. Oh. Shit. Well, he likes 25 year old women then, so. Yeah. But I mean. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> also, why did he fucking do it with Rex? <laughs> what? I think it was because she said he might she like might have fancied him. So that's why that's it's so weird. Yeah, that's invincible. Oh shoot, I went on his wiki page. Um which one? For who? For Rudolph Connors, which is uh the robot oh yeah and it says alignment bad i have scarred myself unless is there a the comic part... is there a comic for this there is a comic yeah oh wow well i mean identity secret it doesn't mean that the show will fall the same you know like that's how mm, the true. boys different the boys di- uh, was different season two. Occupation prison inmate. Oh no, <laughs> I'm reading too much. <laughs> You're spoiling. No. All I wanted to do was see how old he is, and that's the only thing that's not here. His age. Oh. I guess now we know. <sighs> so I had to spoil you too, just so that uh, we would be on the same footing. <laughs> also, like, why did the blue guys just? Stop fighting at the end. Just gave up. I don't know. Like, all the people had surrounded them, right? All those, like, soldiers. But it doesn't matter. Like, we saw in the first episode that they literally killed the White House and everything in it. Except, mm-hmm. and if the Guardians hadn't come, then they literally would have just gotten off. So, and killed the president? Yeah. True. They literally could have just done the same thing there. Mm, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, there's there's a. I feel like there's some modern day references in there, like, um, like the water one. I feel like, um, I don't know if that's a modern day reference, but I feel like that's, that's got to be like partly inspired by Alex Jones or like just fluoride <laughs> in the water, something like that. Yeah, and there was like a few others also, like oh yeah, also like. The when the Debbie, the wife, right? She found the demon's notebook in like the closet. Why was it in the closet anyway? I don't yeah, understand I no why. Idea. I don't know. That that was that was left there for like by the demon, right? Why did what? So like because right demon... after that, she was like cold afterwards. She like saw the demon right after that, didn't she? But the demon like before that had already been chained. Like he'd already be sent back. Oh, to hell. is that so? I, I think I so. Mixed up the timeline. I feel like I he'd know. already been sent back to hell. Either way, she found the thing, and then on it is it had like circle costume, right? And then she thought back to the memory where the dude Omni Man had asked for his costume back. Like, why was that important? Like, so that she would find out, right? Oh wait, my earbud fell out. One second. But that doesn't like I don't get how that would contribute to her um figuring out that the original costume is missing because she just because the memory was just him asking for his costume back. So like how would that tip her suspicion to the original costume being missing with all the blood and stuff? Like I I didn't quite get that connection. Um 
I don't see what you mean. Like that was he had his costume. She wanted like to know what happened, right? Right. She was suspicious already. Back and in the so... hospital? No, no, not back in the hospital, but she was then. I know. Okay, so it. yeah, but then she flashback to that memory, right? Okay. Where they're leaving the hospital and he asked for his costume. Right. So how does that like suspect that he's hiding his costume? Because the logical leap should be he's hiding his costume then. But how did that memory... I don't think that's what the leap is. I think that's... Uh, I think the leap is I need to find the costume because that has the answers. But then how would she... No, but how would she know that the original costume exists? Like the one uh, still with blood. Like, why wouldn't the memory... Because he asked for it. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, I see. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. The 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 fucking global defense force, like the Cecil and them, they literally had the costume with all the blood and shit, and they never analyzed that when he was a wall. Yeah, I don't know about that. What? <laughs> oh, they probably already have, honestly. Um, they, they knew, right? He knew. I know, Cecil but knew. I thought they knew like only after the demon person had like done a bit of investigation. No, no, they knew, for sure. I think. Um, I didn't know uh, it because wasn't... They, they silenced the demon person because he had figured it out too uh, it wasn't clear that they knew even before uh, that actually makes more sense though that they would already know and then that would also explain why <laughs> like they should know if they had his costume yeah I guess the fucking Viltrumites aren't that I mean I don't know I don't I mean, know he should have just burned his costume <laughs> but he like passed out right so I don't know he would have had to strip naked before he fucking passed out and then that would have been even weirder like no no I mean like after he got it back oh yeah 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 so like at least well maybe he's like very prideful and you know just want to keep that as a souvenir or something mm, I don't know interesting well that was invincible. Um, good experience. I think it was a good show. Nothing super amazing. Um, I think the one meme that I have saw on the internet, it was like the look at what they have to do to replicate like a fraction of our power. Um, at least now I understand that one. Uh, good experience.